Hello, Gemini. Let's do your energy reading, your love reading. Actually, I got a lot of correspondence from different signs asking for love reading specifically. So that's what's going to happen now. Um, and whatever other messages you need to know, the universe will show it. Your guys, your ancestors, whoever you want to call it, angels, uh, they will come through and show you on a collective level if you need to know something for your highest good, for your soul's higher learning. Uh, so if you're watching this video, you're supposed to see it, okay? Um, so I don't want to put a time frame on this video, but I will word it as November 2019, but the energies could extend beyond this year uh, towards the beginning of next year, 2020. So we want to know specifically your soulmate's feelings for you, what your soulmate is feeling for you, okay? Most of you are in no communication or minimal communication with your soulmate. So let's see. Universe, please step in, show um, uh, messages, important messages for the sign of uh, Gemini. We're doing Gemini reading. Universe, for the sign of Gemini. What is Gemini's soulmate's feelings feeling towards Gemini? So Gemini's soulmate. What is Gemini's soulmate feeling for Gemini? What feelings do they feel for Gemini? Universe, please step in. Show us messages of love for Gemini. What is their soulmate feeling for the sign of Gemini? Seven of Wands. Oof. Yeah, right off the bat. So harsh energy. Devil with Seven of Wands. Yeah. Queen of Swords. Five of pentacles so for sure a lot of you are in no contact with this individual uh they missing you they missing you but are very deeply hurt so this had a lot of trauma this connection between the two of you a lot of trauma they they miss you but they see you gemini as um toxic somebody who cannot be dependable that they can't fully trust and they are very guarded towards you even though they miss you if they miss you that means they do still care about you they do but they don't trust you mm -mm. they feel very guarded towards you Let's see clarification on this row. Universe, please show us clarification on how Gemini's soulmate feels towards Gemini. Three of... So, three of anything with the devil is third party. Four of pentacles. They still keep thinking about you. They feel beat up. They feel beat up by you. Uh, they want some clarification, some justice, something good to happen. Uh, they want good closure on this. Um, honestly, for some of you, they feel that they can't trust you, that you are running around with different people. But they have a hard time releasing you from their heart so th this individual still cares about you they do but they see you as very toxic and disruptive in their life they do miss you though they do miss you the three of anything like here we have three of cups with the devil card they see you as um running around with different people kind of promiscuous uh yeah i have to tell the truth no sugar coating here they see you as not opening your heart 
uh, as cold, detached emotionally. They wish they could bond with you emotionally and and resolve this because they still care for you. Yeah, they do care for you. Yeah. So here it is, six of cups. Soulmate energy. So you guys know each other from other lifetimes and they keep thinking also reminiscing about the good times the two of you had when you were in contact but they are scared of what may happen transpire if the two of you reconnect again they they're not able to trust you with this energy here they have hard time trusting you believing in you um mm -hmm. they see you as very calculating um just telling the truth, I can't sugarcoat. I have to tell it like it is. Let me see what their intentions are towards you, Gemini. Universe, please step in and show messages of love for Gemini's highest good, their soul's higher learning. Please show the sign of Gemini. What is their soulmate's intentions? What are their soulmates' intentions towards Gemini? <sighs> King of Swords. The Fool, which is good. Nine of Swords. So they are worried and they're not trusting you fully. They're very closed off emotionally. They feel wounded emotionally. And they are worried. But they're very intuitive person. You're dealing with a very intuitive person. And this also means no communication. Seven of Swords. They hiding from you that they still love you. Yeah, look at this beautiful combination of Ten of Cups and Ten of Pentacles. And missing you again, Five of Pentacles from another deck. So this person is missing you, wants to talk to you very honestly, openly, and bluntly how you made them feel. They do, some of them really, truly want to reconcile with you. When I say reconcile, I don't necessarily mean get back together as a couple. But they want to make peace with you. So you you dealing with a, with a highly evolved spiritually individual who doesn't want to hold grudges. That's how you know a person is spiritually evolved on a high level is when they get deeply hurt by somebody and they still want to make peace with that person they don't want to hold grudges that's how you know the person is evolved mm -hmm. um a lot of you are dealing with the taurus it could be any earth sign and cancer could be any water sign they want to make peace. Four of Pentacles. I'm sorry. Four of Wands. Eight of Pentacles. So they see you as their soulmate. Um, they see you. They feel you are their soulmate. Uh, deep soul connection. They want to reconcile. To make peace. To forgive. Yeah. But they, they have a hard time trusting you. Very hard time trusting you. Let's see more, more messages for Gemini regarding their love, their Gemini's soulmate's love and feelings for Gemini. Four of swords 
So they're holding back from communicating, but they do want to communicate honestly and openly. Yeah, again, Six of Cups. So they feel this strong soul connection with you, emotional bond, and they also are reminiscing about the good times the two of you had together. Yeah. Three of Wands. So that's good. You're dealing with a strong individual here, the emperor. Usually the emperor can be challenging energy of stubbornness and arrogance, but here with this wheel of fortune means this is a mature, grown individual. Again, three of wands from two different decks. So this person is very grounded and stable and mature and highly advanced spiritually so this this person is uh evolved psychically very evolved spiritually very psychic mm -hmm. this is beautiful yeah they want to be honest with you in a blunt way actually uh and be honest and tell you how they feel about everything that transpired still see you as an empress so this person is very impressive to me and not much impresses me these days because even though they're very hurt by you uh they still see good in you look at this beautiful empress energy so they see still see good qualities about you they are exhausted though they are exhausted and with the nine of uh, wands showing up earlier they feel beat up. This is beautiful. This is love. But this also means uh, apologies would need to be expressed. Mostly on both sides. But sometimes on your side. Yeah. Messages. So this person wants to communicate with you. Yeah. This is beautiful healing energy after major heartbreak. Usually when we do readings on relationships, whether it's romantic, family, friendship, whatnot. Um, when Six of Swords shows up, it means that the two people or whoever was involved went through major emotional heartbreak in this connection. So this this is good, though moving towards healing in this connection so that's what they want to do they don't want to hold any grudges towards you they don't they don't want to be bitter towards you they want to make peace mm -hmm. now let's see advice for you gemini from the universe universe please step in and show advice for the sign of gemini universe what advice do you have for Gemini in this love connection, love reading. Be honest. Be honest with yourself and people around you. And you will be victorious when you honest and tell people the truth. You're going to be victorious. You're going to be successful. Yeah. Face-to-face -face communication, though, needs to happen. Face-to-face. -face. No text messaging. Face-to-face -face communication needs to happen to resolve this and be on good, good grounds and understand each other completely. Uh, this shows clearly no communication right now. Yeah, Hermit card, no communication. Four of Swords, no communication. So Gemini, you showed up again here as the Queen of Swords, whether you're male or female. So Gemini, you're going to have to learn. The universe is showing you. You're going to have to learn to be more open with people around you not just with this individual but also to 
not be so detached emotionally where you feel like a robot okay uh show your emotions more when you are dealing with people that's what the universe is advising you mm -hmm. yes 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 And you'll be more successful when you show more compassion. It doesn't mean that you are cold as a stone. It just means that you do not allow people to see through you uh, what your emotions are. Okay? Uh, people tend to trust others more when people show their emotions more. Uh, show that they're more approachable and and responsive to other people emotionally now it's hard for Gemini's Aquarius and Libras to do that because you are air signs and every Gemini that I know including my exes had the same problem and they still do so it's going to be hard for you uh, but it's something that you're going to have to work on yeah for your own best interest Universe, please step in, show more advice for the sign of Gemini. More advice for the sign of Gemini. Eight of Cups. Yeah. Once you release emotionally what no longer serves you, and when you don't hold grudges, you'll be able to start fresh and enjoy your life more and trust yourself more and plan more for the future. Yeah. Open your heart more to people around you. That doesn't mean you're heartless or have no heart. No, it means that you need to. The universe is advising you for you to be happier in your life and more successful in interpersonal relationships with other people, whether they are romantic or not. You need to be more open emotionally. Don't be so detached emotionally. Yeah. You will be successful if you put your mind into it. Yeah, but you sabotage yourself a lot. You sabotage yourself a lot by being um, so detached emotionally. You hurt yourself the most. You have to understand that. And you are withdrawn emotionally. Yeah. So the universe with the seven of swords, five of swords, five of cups... And the big ending card here, the King of Cups, is telling you to be more uh, genuine emotionally with people in your interactions, interpersonal interactions with others, no matter what the relationship is, whether it's romantic or not. Yeah, it will help you grow. It will help you trust yourself more as well. You're very guarded, very detached emotionally. And it's hard for people to trust you, to put their faith in you. Mm -hmm. Just being honest, that's what the universe is showing. Let's see more, more messages for the sign of Gemini. Judgment card. World card. Beautiful. Three of Swords. Yeah, so you're holding on to a lot of deeply rooted heartache that goes back to your childhood. Yeah, it goes back to your childhood. It is deeply rooted that you need to work on. And that's why you have such a hard time opening your heart to other people and uh, not being detached emotionally. Yeah, look at this. Clarification of Three of Swords with another three of swords from another deck so your hurt your heartbreak is deeply rooted from your childhood and unless you start working on it it will continue affecting all of your relationships now and in the future so with this kind of deep emotional heartache that you're dealing with 
you need to get professional counseling. I'm not saying you have to go there for years, no. But let somebody who is experienced and licensed uh, with childhood trauma um, guide you, okay? You can go for a few weeks, few months if you want to. Let them guide you and work on this. Because if you don't, if you continue ignoring this, it will affect all of your relationships now and in the future, okay? You deserve to be happy. Don't you want to be happy? Yes, you do. You deserve to be happy like everybody else. So the universe is strongly advising you to seek help, okay? Yeah. You are traumatized from your past that goes back to your childhood years, you're not trusting anybody. That's why your heart is so closed off. That's why you, um, in some cases, a lot of you are promiscuous. Uh, you're looking for love the wrong way. Your heart is very closed off. You need to get professional counseling. Uh, you deserve, recognize that you deserve to be happy, just like everybody else. This is deeply rooted pain that goes back to your childhood. So you need to take it seriously. And I know it's going to be painful to rehash those memories. But you need to work through that pain in order to start healing so you can experience healthy, joyful relationships with other people where you don't feel like you have to be heartless, okay? Like you have to be totally detached emotionally. This is very deeply rooted pain. And I know not every Gemini is going through this. No, obviously not. But the ones who will be guided towards this video, you are meant to see it, okay? Gemini, I really, really wish you well. And I want you to love yourself the most, okay? Uh, true love stems from self-love first and foremost. So you need to love yourself first and say yes to self-love and healing, okay? I wish you all the best, Gemini. And um, I'm going to try to be back in about two weeks for mid-month. I'm very busy with my hospital job. This is just my hobby. But uh, I was guided to do this by the universe and my guide. So I am doing it because I'm supposed to do it. So um, I'm going to try to be back in two weeks. And I hope you are going to be okay. All right. Uh, remember to take care of yourself first and foremost. Okay. Take care of yourself. Okay. And um, I wish you the best. And I will see you soon.